We're going to base it around this foil balloon here that has the, the sort of paint splash across the middle. Um, and we're going to take that through into the rest of the design. We'll start by creating a base for it all to go on. And I'm going to be using the 5 inch Sempertex Reflex Gold and 5 inch Sempertex Reflex Crystal Red. And then also the Sempertex Crystal Red, Reflex Crystal Red Heart, and which is a beautiful thing. And it's nice to be able to, to use those so well. So we'll start off with a, a, a simple base. I'm going to air inflate some five inch balloons. Take them nice and big, give them a bit of a squash. With the reflex ones, you can oversize them quite significantly. So we're actually going to size them to five inches. And we'll use four of those. Tie into a duplet. And then the next duplet will have one reflex gold and one reflex crystal red. Like so. Okay into a duplet and twist together to make your cluster of four. We're going to need a little bit of weight to uh, anchor the whole thing. So here I've got a, a, another five inch reflex gold into which I've put a few glass marbles just to give it a little bit of weight. You can, you can use sand, water, any small weight that you happen to have, but I do quite like using the, the marbles because you can adjust the weight accordingly. Pull that into the middle of the cluster there, wrap it around a couple of times to secure it, tie it off. We're going to sit another cluster on the top of that that we're going to size to four inches, same colour combination. So, nice and big. Now, the difference with this cluster is that the crystal red one is not going to be a five inch balloon, it's going to be the 16 inch heart. So I'll just prepare its other half and then we'll move into the hearts. So with the hearts, hearts are tricky at the best of times um, and one of the things you could do to make it a little easier, there's a weak point here, that's why they're a bit tricky. If you give them a good stretch, stretch the ears first so that you've softened it up a little bit then it will inflate more easily. It is a good idea to actually use a sizer for these um, until you're a bit more familiar with them. I'm going to air fill it first. Okay, there we go. That inflated beautifully and really easily because of that initial stretch. So that's softening it a little bit. I want to add an attachment point here. So I'm going to do that with the raisin twist method. So I'll let that down and I'm going to use another balloon. You can just use a scrap of balloon if you happen to have one, but I don't. So I'm going to use a fresh one, tie a couple of knots in it to create a little bobble there and remove anything that you don't need. So we've just got this little ball of latex. I'm also going to keep the neck, the very tip of the, the end of the neck there, like that, like an elastic band. And drop that into the balloon. And shake it down so that it falls into one of the 
lobes of the heart and get it right on the tip of the lobe of the heart. Stretch the latex as tight as you can around that little bobble and then use your neck roll to wrap it tightly around several times to trap that like so. And that will give us an attachment point for later on. Now we can inflate the balloon again, a little bit more carefully this time because obviously we've, we've uh, compromised it slightly. There we go. So there's our heart, still looks exactly the same, but now we've got that little bit of extra that we can use to tie other things to. Tie it off. And then we're going to give it a gold swoosh. So for that, I have some artist's acrylic paint. You can use any acrylic paint you like, but the better quality, the, more, the higher opacity that you use, the better results you will get. Um, this is metallic gold, of course, and a big paintbrush. I'm not going to take the swoosh across, I'm going to bring it up from the base of the balloon. So get your paint, put a generous amount around the knot, like so, and then use your paintbrush to drag it up the balloon, like so. Don't overspread it because it will get thinner as you as you work it just a few strokes to get the effect you want and you get that really rather nice effect of the gold streaks on the balloon do the same on that side and copy it again now obviously this is going to take a little bit of time to dry so I've done one earlier and allowed it to dry I'll just put that there for the moment and remember to put the top back on on the paint <coughs> so here's one that I prepared earlier and as I have allowed to dry I painted it all the way around and you can actually see that as the paint dries it becomes more intense tie that to your other five inch balloon Wrap it into a cluster of four, and then we're going to sit it on top of the earlier cluster by pulling one of the necks up through the middle. And wrapping. I want the attachment point to be this way. Okay. Going to add a few more little extra bits into the base here. So some five inch crystal red. I want them really rather small. So I'm going to squish the air right into the top so that the color, the intensity of the color is preserved and tie them tight against the inflated part so that we've got a nice long neck another one of those and then tie them close against the neck roll and that will give us a nice amount of stretch between them which means that we can tuck them in through here to give us a little bit of extra red detail. I think we'll have one more of the pair of those. When you're tying balloons really tightly and you want a very small knot, don't pull it like this because you can damage the, uh, the, the inflated part, put little friction tears in. If you need to get a really tight knot, put your finger and thumb between the neck and the knot, pinch 
and pull that to push the knot tight without putting stress on the inflated part. So we'll do that again. Let it down to the size we want. Squish the air into the top, give it a twist and a knot. And then finger and thumb there, pull tight. And then your balloon won't deflate. And we can sit one here and one round there. Going to put some red roses, silk red roses, just three of them. But you can use as many or as few as you like, obviously. Um, I've just taped them together here <coughs> with some stretchy balloon tape, um, which holds them together firmly and also protects, you know, covers up any sharp ends from the wire, which means that we can then safely tuck them into the middle of the design like that and a couple of odd leaves that we can tuck in let me turn that around so i can see where we're going with this because i want to add a bow of ribbon this is just simple um, organza ribbon that i've tied around with some curling ribbon and i'm going to tuck that into here just secure it by wrapping the ribbon through the centre of the cluster like so and then any protruding ends you can curl to add a little bit of extra detail there put that leaf in like so so that's the base of it completed um, I'm going to take one five inch reflex gold and place it large let it down to about three inches or so it doesn't matter but small and tie it loosely so that there's a bit of space there so it's really squashy and then I can pinch that in half because if you want some really small bubbles Often it is better to, to create them from a single balloon by twisting it in half than trying to inflate two really small ones and get them into a dupe fit. So we'll do that again with the red one. A bit smaller this time. Tie it loosely so it's nice and squashy. Squash the neck down through the centre. Twist. And use the neck to wrap around and tie off and that way it will stay together we can then twist those to form a cluster of four and then we can tie some ribbon around the attachment point simple knot and it's beyond me there we go that's got it tie that nice and firmly around that attachment point and we can disguise where it's tied with our little cluster like so I'm going to then inflate the foil balloon with helium okay I have another small bro prepared here which I will tie around the neck so I'm going to roll it up tie the bow around the neck to give just a little bit of detail you can't add an awful lot of weight to a standard foil but a very lightweight ribbon like this is fine goodness me 
that's got it. Tie that nice and firmly. Decide how high you want it to fly. We won't take it too high. I think that's probably enough there. And use the two ends of ribbon again just to tie around there. Once again, curling these if they need any extra curl, which on this occasion I don't think they do. We can trim that so that that matches this and everything ties together. And there we have it. It's a very simple, very basic design, but the, the use of the heart at an angle and the gold paint just gives it a little bit of extra and therefore a little bit of extra value to your customer.